Hey, George here from Damn 2018 for VoiceOver Body Shop. And we're here with our friends at Audient who have been making fantastic products for recording in your home studio or on the road too. And here to tell us about it is Steve. How are you doing, Steve? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you for nice your kind you comments. Yeah, We've good to see you. We've talked around on the internet a little we bit. Have, we have, we have, yep. Well, I love your products and I know a lot about them, but our viewers probably don't. Hmm. Tell us how the product line goes, starting with the ID4. Who is this good for, and then what do you gain as you go up in size and price? Yeah, well, um, we approach all our interfaces in very much the same the same way. It's not like we have uh, a cheap range and an expensive range right. that have um, you know different level, like seriously different levels of mic pre's yeah, and you get converters. The same you get no matter what, right? Uh, absolutely. So from ID4, which is for a very uh, you know small setup where you may just recording one microphone, you've got your speakers hooked up to it. You've got a pair of headphones there. Nice, uh, nice small compact setup. Bus powered, so you can go out on the road no with it, no problem at all. Plug it in. Um, exactly, yeah, um, you, and all the monitoring control is also on the unit. You just change how much do I want to hear from my computer, how much do I want to hear from the from the microphones. How about a driver? Do you have to install drivers or a console? Or a console on panel? on a Mac, you just plug it in and you go. On a on Windows, you just download our drivers. There's no control panel for it other than um, ASIO settings and. And you're done. Um, whereas if we step up to, there's actually one more product in the lineup that isn't here. ID14, um, which is two mic pre's, um, uh, and then you've got an ADAT input as well. So if you're going to be recording more inputs, right. uh, it's very expandable. So if you're doing like more like a bit a, a panel interview or something like sure. that, then you'll be able to get get more channels into sure. into the de device. Yeah, I know this one really well because this was the first of the line, wasn't? It? Yeah, this yeah, it, it was. Released. Yeah, that was uh, the first interface that we ever did. Um, a really high quality conversion that we've um, got in there. But it's also got um, hardware inserts as well. So if you like to record with a compressor uh, and, and with EQ um, as you're going into the computer, that allows you to commit early on. And like, this is your sound. You know you, you've got it dialed in and you just record with it uh, and saves you a lot of work later on. This has a console which has Q sense. Yes. So you can do external mixes. For yeah. Things. If you've got some more complex setups that you want to do, um, you know, even involving recording back in the output of your computer, um, you know, mix minus kind of setups, uh, then yeah, you can absolutely do that with uh, the mixer that is controlled from your computer, yeah, but built thing. into the unit. And then. Um, all the monitor controller stuff that's there as well can be uh, really helpful for quickly yeah. cutting, dimming, changing speakers and things like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so then this is the new one, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, ID44. It's the, the biggest interface in our lineup. Um, yeah. Four of the, the Audion mic pre's, as I say, the same throughout. This has got the best converters, A to D and D to A, that we've put in any product. Um, so but it's an upgrade internally. It is. From the yeah, yeah, products. absolutely. You know, using the most modern chips that are available right. uh, on the market. Um, you know, it's a natural successor for for the ID22, for example. Yeah. Um, and it, it's got an extra headphone output. So if you're feeding your own headphones, but you also want to, uh, you've got another ta yeah talent in another room. Yeah. They want a slightly different mix. Then that's there as an option as well. Um, Let's see the back, the business. Yeah. So you also have the ability to plug in more extra uh, extra mic pre's. So if you've got a rack of another oh, wow. eight mic pre's, you can plug them directly into one of the optical inputs there. Yeah. You can actually do two units, so you can record up to 20 inputs at one time. Oh, so um, this has got four mic preamps. Four mic pre's. And then additional plus digital Plus the inputs. digital inputs as well, yeah. And it's a USB-C connection. Yeah, does it is. Does that work with USB 2 also? Or it does, through? yeah. It, it comes with both a Type-C to Type-C cable for your modern uh, laptops that do have yeah. uh, Type-C on board, but you've also got a Type-A to Type-C cable, so you can plug it into um, any other computer. Gotcha. That's USB 2? Yep. USB yeah, USB 2. Great. And Absolutely. 
These are all available now. I know these have been around. Is this available right um, now? This will be available, um, well, shipping towards the end of end of March, okay. um, beginning of April. Great. Yeah. And what's the price range? US so prices about. Uh, now you're challenging me on the US pricing of all these. So ID4, I think, is around the uh, $200 mark. Yeah, that sounds about um, right. Honestly, I can't remember on ID. Yeah, we will, we will pin <laughs> um, you down. But on ID44, uh, we're at six nine nine dollars. Really? Yeah. Amazing, because I don't think this is much, much, uh, much of a difference actually in price. They're pretty. No, they are. They're, they're quite similar, um, but it's a little more for all the functionality that yeah. you get on ID44. Very but, nice. Yeah, so it spans the spans the price range quite quite nicely, depending on what you need for your studio. Got it. Yeah. Well, Steve, I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for talking to us. It's a us. pleasure. Thank you yeah, very much for stopping by. Show. And you. This is George for NAM 2018. See you at the next booth.